an angel visited me. For a long time, I've not been visited by angels. This night, I was visited to dreams and visions. And he said, your name now is my name. Purely. That's the new name that he has revealed to the world. And he said, My son, you humbled yourself for 33 years. That's why I will give you a name which is above every name. He gave me his name and he took my name as his new name. Ay nakuta na ng billboard na ito, di ba? Ay nagtanong. Sabi na, sino ba yung nagtanong? Sino ba yan dyan? Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, wak ko lang ginawa siya. Siyempre, gwapo, kay nga no, gitagaan o gwapong pangalan. So my name became his name and his name became my name. I and my father's name are one! Blasphemy! Oh, uh, ang Mesiyas uh, manuluwas. So, ako ang gigamit sa mahan para manuluwas sa inyong kalag. Uh, ingon ka si Jesus Christ ang dalan. Ako naging po, ako ang dalan. Dili ma pwedeng duha. So, nang usami, ang anak o gamahan o sara, John 10.30, I and my father are one. Ako o gang akong amahan o sara. Yun sa, ako ang lawas, ako ang iyong residensya, ako yung balay, niya siya nagpuyo sa sulod na ako. So, ang akong gisulti, hindi akong kaugaling ang mga pulong, hindi di ang mga nagpuyo sa sulod na ako. Blasphemy! So, I am the way. The truth and the life, no man goes to the Father but by me. Why would I say that? Because you cannot find the Father apart from the Son. Blasphemy! I am now the owner of the earth. I am now the owner of the world. For me. Ah, kanang version sa church age, mga reliyon o denominasyon nga Jesus Christ, puro mini ka Jesus Christ na. Muna yung mga Jesus Christ, mawala yung pagtuman. Kini ang tinuod ng Mesiyas, may pagtuman sa misulti ni Jesus Christ. Tinawot na wala na kamalibong ka rin. New at 6, Hawaii News Now has learned the FBI has been investigating a controversial Waipahu church for alleged human trafficking. The church is known for its televangelist pastor and aggressive fundraising here in Hawaii. Our Rich Basov has exclusive details. That's Felina Salinas leaving federal court last month after she was arrested on allegations of trying to smuggle $350,000 in cash out of the U.S on a plane leased by Filipino televangelist, Apollo Kibaloy. Salinas is the local business manager for his church. Hawaii News Now has learned that she was previously arrested in 2015 for allegedly beating a fellow church member who claimed she was forced to raise money. Her attorney, Michael Green, says the allegations had no merit. The next morning, when she appeared in front of the judge, the state dismissed the charges as though they were they never should have been filed in the first place. Despite the denial, the FBI remains focused on the woman's allegations as part of a larger investigation into possible human trafficking of church members for fundraising here. Shortly after Salinas' arrest last month, the FBI sent an agent from Los Angeles here who spent several days investigating the case. We obtained police records that say that the alleged victim came here on a religious visa in October 2014. 
She claims that within days, she was forced to sell, quote, Manapua and Krispy Kreme donuts for fundraisers. Rain or shine. Officials and consumers have complained about the church's charity, the Children's Joy Foundation, for aggressive fundraising and even misrepresentation. Meanwhile, Angela says that if members didn't sell enough, they were punished. Quote, we've been slapped or yelled at the last time I received punches over my arms and legs. It did indicate some of the classic signs of human trafficking. And people who've come to the United States under religious worker visas before have sometimes been connected uh, with human trafficking. Angelus later ran away from the church and was charged with sexually assaulting a 15-year-old girl. But that trial was postponed after Salinas was arrested. Former member of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ filed three criminal cases against Pastor Apollo Kiboloy. Let's have more in Arjun Relator's live report. Arjun? Pastor Kiboloy and four other leaders of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ are now facing rape, qualified human trafficking, and child abuse cases. A former member, scholar, and singer of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ has filed cases against Kingdom of Jesus Christ leader, Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy, five years and three months after the alleged incident took place. In an exclusive phone patch interview with the complainant, it was at dawn of September 1, 2014, when she was allegedly sexually abused. The complainant was only 17 years old at the time when the alleged rape incident happened. After the incident, she was forced to stay for a year inside the Kingdom compound in Sasa Davao City since Kibuloy allegedly prevented her from moving out, which prompted her to escape. The complainant also said that even her family members were threatened after they tried to break their ties with the Kingdom of Jesus Christ ministry, where her father formerly held a minister position. That kind of attack on the deity of Christ comes right from Antichrist sources. They go beyond this, they diminish Jesus, and then they elevate themselves. And what happened to Jesus in, in, in the words of these false teachers, that He was a man who became God, is what happens to them and can happen to you. You are a man who can also become God. If somebody comes to you, verse 10, and doesn't bring the true teaching concerning Christ, don't let him into your house, don't give him a greeting, or you'll be a participant in his evil deeds. Stop him cold in his tracks. Don't expose yourself to a deceptive, lying Christology. We must get it right about Christ. Salvation comes by believing in Christ. That's John's whole point in this gospel, that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing have life in His name. The spirit of Antichrist gives honor to a false Jesus, which is an attack on His nature. When Jesus said in Matthew 16, 13, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am, He asked the foundational question. Who is Jesus Christ? The